Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It is Francesco here. If you are new to the Keep Productive YouTube channel, welcome. If you're a regular, welcome back. So in today's video, we're going to be diving into Microsoft To Do. This is a resource that launched three or four months ago that essentially is trying to replace Wunderlist. It's Microsoft's new strategy, and I want to recap some of the things that will be happening over the last couple of months. But before we get started, let's dive into the question of the day. Now the question of the day comes from Gurav who asks, how do you use subtasks inside of Todoist? Uh, I think he saw this inside of the Todoist setup video and he was curious at how this worked, mainly because you don't want to set subtasks with lots of different due dates because it becomes very messy. So the way I use them is I basically go into the project and add them below each of the main tasks, the parent tasks inside of the day. And I set a day based on that parent task. And once I have that, it will pop up in my to-do list. Once I'm inside the to-do list, I can open it up and see all of the subtasks I need to complete in my day. All of these do not have due dates and provide me with a list of things I need to get done, whereas I don't actually have to include that in the comments function. It's a very useful thing to have and it provides me with a way of checking all of those stuff off and then check off the major parent task at the end of the day. It's very, very useful. I should have clarified it in a bit more detail, but I'll include a video where I talk about it in more detail in the description below. So thanks very much, Gurav. Um, I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong too. So Microsoft To Do has obviously developed over the last couple of months, and the way that I still see it is a per simple and personal to-do list experience. Now, remember I talk a little bit about my matrix ranking. I rank this as a light personal application, which essentially means a lightweight, easy to load, no, no advanced functions, it's got really basic functionality, simple due dates and things like that. Nothing too advanced like subtasks or uh, advanced commenting systems or the ability to share. And also it's a uh, personal one. So you can only share tasks with yourself, which is absolutely fine, uh, but it's in sort of the top right left-hand corner of this matrix and sort of very simple application. It's alongside the likes of like Google Keep and Apple Reminders, etc. at the moment, mainly due to its functionality. So in the last couple of months, Microsoft To Do really hasn't updated a great deal. On iOS and Android, they have added some bug fixes and also tweaks to small bits of the UI, but not real huge level of detail has been added. On the Android version, they've added a few widgets and made it more accessible on the home screen. But apart from that, again, not really much has changed. So Microsoft has stated that Microsoft To Do is almost out of preview mode, uh, which soon will become available to all Office 365 users. Now in the next 30 days, they state that they will have an email sent to all the admins of Office 365 subscriptions that will give them some more information about how their users can access Microsoft To Do. Now, once they have that, it's very easy to get set up. And of course, it will become a product available in the Office 365 experience. They've also stated they will be working on some of the email integrations with Outlook and Office 365 to make it easier to connect to other applications. Now, the reason why I wanted to speculate on this is that's the stuff we know. I'll include all of the articles that I found in the description to do with Microsoft To Do. They're really gonna do, I, re I, th I think they're really gonna do one of two things. They're either going to focus their attention on Office 365 and creating it as a product to that experience. They're going to make it available in integrations in the likes of OneNote, uh, the email experiences and all of the other products in Office 365, or they are going to challenge the likes of Todoist, TickTick, or one of the heavy personal applications to try and be one of the best tools out there. They're essentially going to try to shift Microsoft To Do to what Wunderlist was and extend it further, which I think will be a lot harder for Microsoft, maybe because they don't have a huge user base on iOS and Android. So they're either gonna do two of the, one of those two things, and my honest opinion is I think they're gonna try and do them both at the same time, but what I've really, my gut feeling is, and I've been totally wrong about this in the past, is they're gonna focus on Office 365 and try and integrate to do into that system and make it a product as a personal to do this application inside of Office 365. So my current opinion on the resource a couple of months on is obviously I'll be continuing to look at it and continuing to review some of the modifications they made. They haven't made a huge amount of updates, which gives me warrant to say it doesn't combat any of the heavy personal task managements out there, like the likes of Todoist, TickTick, um, you know, all of those other resources. 
because it doesn't have the functionality as of yet. What I would recommend it for is easy to use personal productivity. If you're someone that wants a really simple to do this application and just wants none of the thrills and spills, something that just works well, I recommend this highly. But if you're someone that needs something a bit more advanced and to grow with you, I doubt this will be beneficial. Anyway guys, I hope that gave you a nice overview of some of the Microsoft To Do updates that have happened in the last couple of months. It'd be great to hear your opinion on Microsoft To Do in the description below. So let me know in the comments below, let me know what your opinions are. It'd be great to hear. Anyway guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Make sure to subscribe and join the Facebook group. It'd be great to have you there and have a great day. Keep productive and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.